booktube. My name is Kate. This is my channel, Chapter Kate. It's been a minute since I've been here. Uh, yeah. I did not quit booktube. I just took a break. Sort of. Or the break took me. Um, you may have noticed that I haven't actually posted very much just this year in general. Um, I posted some videos uh, earlier in the year and I was kind of steady with that. Um, and then things sort of started to dwindle. And there have been some uh, some minor changes. For example, you may notice my, my new uh, space here. There are so many books in this room. <laughs> I'm so excited about it. You can't even see all of them. Um, they won't even fit in the frame. There's a lot going on here. So I'm just gonna kind of give you updates about how the year has gone so far. I know I've made some videos this year, but um, just I, I wanna talk a little bit about what's been going on. So starting with the very beginning of the year, I had a ton of stuff going on. Um, the band that I'm in, we had a really big show. Um, it was supposed to be a really big show. It was supposed to be a three hour long show. So we spent so much time learning a ton of new material, um, working on new songs that we had already written ourselves, um, things like that, and getting ready for this huge show, while also kind of trying to figure out how we're going to get our album kind of released and things like that. We recorded an album um, late 2019, and then this year we've just been working on, you know, getting art, um, trying to figure out, you know, mixing and all that stuff that I don't really do much with. I just sing the songs and do some percussion. But we've been working on that kind of stuff, so that's been a lot. We now have album art. We are in the works of actually figuring out like when we're going to release and things like that. Um, I would share my album art, but we're not going to share it until we have a release date. For those of you who may not know what I'm talking about, I'm in a band named Serotonal. Um, we are out of South Carolina, upstate South Carolina, and we do a lot of shows in upstate South Carolina as well as kind of lower North Carolina. And we're just, we do rock music. The song in my channel intro is actually one of our songs. It's not the final recorded version, it's just a recorded version that we've done. <laughs> I'm hoping so much that I can actually get my intro into this video. I'm sure you would have noticed or not because this is not the beginning of the video. But yeah, no, a lot of things have happened. So that started off the year. My birthday is in February, so I actually filmed a cool birthday vlog. Don't know if you'll ever actually see it because it's that was in February. And I always have a little bit of a difficult time around New Year's and my birthday just because I have mental illness. <laughs> Multiple mental illnesses and it just various things that my brain does are very cruel and it makes a lot of things difficult in my life that should be fun. And because of that, I also had a couple of weeks that were really, really bad to the point that were kind of scary. I actually ended up utilizing the crisis line maybe twice, I think. I think it was twice um, during a couple of weeks that I was having a really hard time. And because of that, I also kind of tried to take a break of a lot of things um, that I felt pressured by. And that included this, which is, you know, a hobby and something that I really, really enjoy. But at the time, it was important for me to take care of myself. And so I did. I utilized the skills I have. I utilized the resources that I had and the supports that I had um, as much as I could and as much as I would let myself. And I'm much better now. I'm still taking my medication. I'm still going to therapy. All that good stuff. So that happened. And I was like, you know what? Once March hits, everything's going to be better. But then March arrived, <laughs> Ooh, and I felt like, you know that scene in the Super Mario game, Mario 64? Yeah. I felt like 2020 was Mario and all of us were that baby penguin. And you know that big show that I was talking about that my band was doing? The day that the show happened was the first case in North Carolina and that's where the show was being held. So there were like barely any people there. They were like, okay, you're just gonna play two songs and go. And we are like, okay, and then they ended up liking us, and then a couple more people came, and they loved us. And even though there wasn't a ton of people there, they let us stay and play our whole set because they just, they had fun. They were enjoying the music. Also, right when stuff started, started, you know, catching on fire and whatnot, we started looking at houses, and we ended up finding a home that we decided to move into. Um, and, you know, if you're, you know, if you ever move or are buying a house or anything like that, don't do it in the middle of a pandemic, okay? Just don't, just just don't do it. There's just so many things that, you know, you think you're gonna be able to use and things you think you're gonna be able to um, have available to you, you know, during a move. And when all of it's closed, it's very difficult. <laughs> it's already difficult, you don't have a ton of help and you know you can't really 
go get the furniture like we had plans for you know certain you know things furniture that we needed to get things that we needed to do and stuff like that i know it sounds like i'm just whining and complaining but you know when you have this vision of how like some huge milestone in your life should go and it just is completely doesn't happen that way it's very difficult and moving into a house is nothing like things that people are missing like you know their first child um you know having their family there for that or their graduation or weddings funerals things like that and just you know it's hard to go through a big milestone in your life because you you spend your whole life picturing how it's going to go and then it almost never goes that way <laughs> um but i definitely wasn't expecting it to be this different <laughs> We did our closing through the windows of cars because that was the safest way to do it and using a speakerphone and it was raining too so that was that was a lot. Um, but yeah we got it done. We're in the house now. I've actually filmed this video three times. The first time I filmed it it was while we were still moving out and um, as I almost finished editing the video something happened. I think I was actually on the way out the door with another box of stuff and I pulled the card out of the computer um, and instead of importing all the files to my computer before I edited I was editing from the card itself and so it just erased everything I was like oh no and by that point I had waited so long to edit that so many other things had happened that I needed to add to the video so I was like screw that and then I moved in and things were still everywhere and I was just in a room of boxes and I tried to film another life update video and <laughs> Before I could even get to editing it, my hard drive died completely, which means that all my files went away, which included, you know, my band artwork. Luckily, I had sent it off. Um, any writing that I had done uh, over the years, I still, I found a little bit um, on a couple of drives online and stuff, but like a lot of the preparation writing that I didn't do by hand um, was gone completely. But luckily, the world that I've been writing in it's been in my mind for years and so a lot of it's already fleshed out just the putting it on the page is not completely done um or barely even started so that's a whole other thing um I have decided to try and start actually getting back into my writing and I have been trying to do that for you know a year maybe now but I've never really talked about it on the channel because I'm one of those people who feels like if I talk about it and then I fail that I'm really a failure and um yeah, I'm, I'm kind of done with that. But anyway, that was the second time I tried to attempt it. So this is the third time I'm trying to attempt to have a new hard drive. Um, it's going to be difficult because I, I have to rip my intro from my previous videos rather than having it, you know, in my thing. I haven't really used the program yet, I so hopefully everything works when I'm editing. It's, it's a little nerve-wracking to try and, you know, just redo everything. Um, but I'm, I'm doing it and building it from the ground up, kind of, not really, but it's happening. Uh, and... And as a lot of you know, BookCon was canceled this year, which is a really low blow by 2020, honestly. Especially because that's like the one time a year that a lot of us get to see some of our closest friends. People that I consider family, I can't see and that's, that's hurts a lot. So hopefully BookNet Fest happens. As for the BookTube pins um, that I had made, they came in. They're a little bit bigger than last year's pin, which is very upsetting because I told them multiple times what size I wanted. They said I could order them again for half the price, but I don't have the money for that because we crowdfunded the money for the pins to begin with. So 2020 gets a little bit bigger of a pin because it's a little bit bigger of a disaster. I think for 2021, I'm going to go back to the regular pin size. <laughs> Maybe on our, you know, big decade years, they can be a little bit bigger or something. I was going to give them out at the BookTuber meetup in New York. And since BookCon is not happening, that's not happening. I do intend to send out the pins to everybody. Once everything's a little bit more settled here, I'm going to attempt to send all those pins out to BookTubers that want to get them. Um, whether you donate or not, I want to get them to as many booktubers as possible. The money that went towards the meetup I'm intending to use for postage since we didn't get to have the meetup itself. And I'm going to be posting about that on the uh, Book2Pins Twitter account. So if you happen to donate towards the meetup and you don't feel comfortable with your money going towards postage for the other pins, please let me know and I'll make sure that I get your money to you. Now sending them out is the plan, absolutely. However, if BookNet Fest happens to happen still, I would love to be able to get them out there. I really, really hope it happens because this sucks, y'all. It really, really sucks. And I, I know I don't have to say that. I'm sure everyone in the world is saying that. I'm sure you're saying it. So hopefully that happens and I'm able to get pins to everybody. 
one or one way or the other, they're gonna get there and they're gonna get to everyone, or at least as many people as I can get them to. So keep an eye out for a form I'll probably put out to get everyone's names and addresses. Um, I will probably have you link your channel just because I want to make sure that everyone that is getting these pins, they're actually booktubers. Work has been really weird, especially when I work at a place where um, we have patients that pretty much live there for short periods of time. Some people live there for long periods of time, but um, it's an inpatient facility. Uh, occasionally people will be there for like, you know, a week or less, but that's not very common with where I work. It's very weird, you know, working there and trying to pretend that everything is normal and okay when you leave and it's not. Um, it's really hard to work with a mask on because <laughs> I'm a music person, like my degrees in music therapy and I'm doing these groups and I can't, I can't, you know, use this half of my face to show facial expressions and I can't really sing because when I breathe in too quick, it's like the mask tries to jump down my throat. It's probably shouldn't say those kind of things online because I'm going to be a meme. What else happened? Um, I'm in a new house. The pins. Oh, so, um, Animal Crossing took over my life. So that happened. I've been posting mostly Animal Crossing content on my Twitter because it's delightful. My island is awesome. I don't care what anyone says. I love my island and it is just great. I got in a several fights with uh, Truffles, the pig, who I despise. He wears this ugly jester shirt and I hate it and I want him to change and I keep giving him clothes and he usually changes but he keeps changing back. I don't want to hear about your bidet or your life stories. Who's this little reindeer and he's the cutest and he sings songs and he dances around him and Chatter danced around and sang Smash Mouth. One eternity later. I may do something with that on my channel, but I, I don't know. I really don't know. This is kind of going to be a revamp for my channel. I only say that because my background's different. Nothing's really going to be that different, um, but I am going to be in a new space and it's going to give me more opportunities to film because I'm not having to share, you know, at my old apartment, there was like the library was kind of attached to the living room. So I couldn't just film whenever I wanted. So that was really annoying. And so now like, I, I'm like in my own little space. I can film, I can edit. I'm going to do a library tour. What I will probably do is do bookshelf tours, plural, with specific sections, like different genres, just because there's so many. And I know if I film a really, really long bookshelf tour with all the books, um, I'll procrastinate editing it and it'll never go up. So I'll do a big library tour and kind of show you where everything is. And then I'll post the smaller bookshelf tours. But I do have a lot of videos planned, especially now that I have space for them. I'm so excited. I hope you're excited and I'm so glad and so thankful for those that stuck around with my channel even though I wasn't posting. I think it's kind of hilarious that my last post was like, here's my cute little mini office. And the only reason I made that is because I was like, if I'm going to be stuck in this apartment another year, I'm going to be making a space that is mine. And then immediately we moved out. <laughs> so <laughs> just forget that last video. It was cute. Give you some little mini office ideas but it's no longer relevant. The lamp I still have, it's right there. It's a really good lamp. I, it's really heavy, so it's hard to move, but it's a great lamp. <laughs> so I, again, I'm so thankful for BenQ for sending me that lamp. They only asked me to make the one video and review the lamp. This is just me raving about it some more because I really, really like the lamp. Also, my neighbors have gnomes in the yard, which means that we're gonna be best friends. And then apparently there's gangs of bunnies that run around this place, so. That's nice. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm doing well and I can't wait to be posting more videos and getting back to things. Uh, also, it's going to take me a little while to figure out like how I want my camera placed because right now it feels like it's a little bit high and I'm a little bit really low on the screen. But that is all for this life update video. I'm sure there's other things that I could be talking about, but I can't remember any of them. So that's all. What is my outro? So thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, every thumbs up is a really great way to tell me that you're there and that you're watching and that someone is out there in the void. And if you would like more of this junk, please subscribe below. Bye! Dripping over shadows and I'm drowning in the night I feel the soldiers coming, I'm just pulling up a fight